Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Now Ryan on first down. Escape the pressure, Ryan goes down. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive hey, backs. Go. They covered everything, nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? Now they'll run it on the toss. Well, a pretty move couldn't create much space. Down just beyond the 35. The tackle made by the corner, Jimmy Smith. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. On third down, Ryan looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Terrell Suggs. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. the intercept. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half. First and 10. Flush to his right. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? We call it and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? And this is caught at the eight. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Back now here 